So here I am in the middle of the summer in Venezuela thinking about what I'm going to say tonight. And like everybody else, uh, I was drinking actually my gin tonic from this sort of mug, a water, water filter. And when I saw the logo of the water filter that I was uh, drinking, um, that brought memories to a couple of products that were developed in my class. The first one was uh, a lunchbox that had the same branding of the same mug that I was using to drink my cocktail. And the second one was a water bottle. And um, they share the same type of uh, innovative features that, that the water filter that I was uh, the water uh, filter that I was using. And that's when I realized that I wanted to share with you a couple of lessons from teaching innovation, from teaching innovation to MBAs and designers together in the same classroom. Um, what is uh, what is it about innovation that I'm teaching? I'm teaching the innovation process, which is a process that starts with identifying opportunities to create value in novel ways and finishes with capturing the value that you create, that the product or service that you, that you uh, conceptualize uh, would make. And what happens in between is a process, it's a journey that uh, has three phases. A phase of understanding the user needs, a phase of generating um, creative solutions to those needs, and a phase of testing those promising solutions. What we do uniquely here, though, is, um, is that we bring we put in teams of MBAs and designers together to experience that process, to experience the innovation process, the innovation journey together. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you four snapshots of some of the ways they experience that process, some of the products that they have developed in the class in just uh, six weeks. The first product is uh, one that was developed in 2005. And that's when uh, every time you would go to a bar or a, or a restaurant, you would come home with your clothes full of smokes and uh, cigarette smokes. And um, so this product was about a new hanger that would actually remove the smokes from your clothing. And uh, it was a battery operated, and it has an ion filter that was actually that was the technology behind the whole thing. And, um, and it was a great vehicle to experience the innovation process for that team. We know now that there's a better solution to this problem, which is forcing people not to smoke in bars and restaurants. <laughs> and, um, 2007 was another year where we had a, a great uh, product um, that was developed in the class. And, uh, and this was about improving the reading experience when you are laying down in your bed. <laughs> so can you have a device that makes your book levitate on top of you? And, uh, and I was very skeptical, but I love it. I mean, it was, uh, it, they, they developed a system that was integrated with your bed and your pillow. And it was done to like, test the functional prototype that these guys put together, that I got the point, that I got the value of having a book truly levitating on top of you. And, 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 and that really increased, uh, improved the, the reading experience. This other product, uh, oh, this other product was developed uh, keeping in mind children with allergies. And this team focused on the detection part of that problem. And um, they developed a product, it was a toy, it was like a waste uh, then, and, um, and it had a scanner so that kids could actually scan the barcode of packaged food to detect whether they could actually eat that, that, that food or not. And finally, there was a product that was developed just last year, and it was called Embrace. And this was about keeping long distance relationships together. And so, what they did is they focused on transmitting hugs. So, they became actually experts on the science of hugging. And they developed a whole system to transmit the, the, the tactile sensation associated with a hug. So, what are those four products about? There were vehicles for them to learn the innovation process, to experience the innovation process together, again, in just seven, six weeks. But there were two fundamental lessons that they, that they, they got out of this experience. One lesson was about discovering the value of integrating design skills and business skills. Because you need that. To create these concepts, you, you need the skills of managers, the skills of identifying business opportunities, finding the resources, finding the, uh, the constraints, managing that process. But you also need the skills of the designers, the skills that they have to uncover needs, to visualize creative solutions, to put 
type uh, the promising ideas that they have. And, and this is what, what, what we uh, were challenged to do. We were challenged to create the right environment and to create the right set of, set of activities so that this would happen. So that the designer skills and business skills would actually meet together and learn to complement each other in an innovative uh, um, a, a scenario. And we know that we got it when we start seeing the ventures that were coming out of the people that took this program. And when we start looking at the funding uh, uh, team of this thing and the core team of this venture, you find an MBA from NCA and you also find a designer from the art center. And that's because they really truly believe on the value of integrated design and business. But there was another lesson that they got, and this was more an individual lesson. And it was about the value of passion. The value of passion for creating something new. Launching a product, creating a new product is extremely hard. And you don't do it if you are not truly passionate about it. And so when you experience the process, the innovation process together with others, you really find that, that you need that passion. And the typical question that I get at the end of this, this, this journey is, how do I know if I'm really passionate about, about innovation? And the answer that I give is, uh, is actually based on a book that was recommended to me. And I ask them, be honest, confess to yourself, should I die if I work forbidden to innovate? Thank you.